Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to switch between desktops on the Windows 11. So, the first thing that you would like to do is just go and open your Windows 11 PC. Of course, if you're a Windows 10 user, if you have a PC with Windows 10, you can just go into your settings and upgrade into Windows 11 right now and for free. Of course, you can even run the installation of that into the background of your PC if you want to use your PC in the meanwhile. Of course, your PC might be a bit slower, but it's not going to be a problem. Of course, once the installation is done, you'll be notified to restart or to reboot your PC. And when you do that, you will have your Windows 11 ready to use. And of course, you will even have a recovery point if you want to go into back into your Windows 10. But I bet once you get used to it, you will not go and you will even like it. Maybe like Windows 10 or even much better. So as you said, we would like to switch between the desktops on Windows 11. So it will be kind of the same as Windows 10. It's all you need to do once you are at your desktop, just go and click as Windows tab into your keyboard. And here, as you can see, that opens this page for you. And here, you can actually create new desktops if you want. You can delete some desktop if you want. You can even rename this desktop. So let's say, as an example, you would like to put this first desktop for studying. This is for recording, as an example. The third one for like gaming or something like that and of course if you want to go to any of them just simply right click on them or left click on them because if you right click you will be, you will find this when you can actually close it or choose the background or move left or even rename as you can see you can even like change the position of them so that will be actually it you can actually uh, move through them by the windows tab and you can uh, move wherever you want so that's a desktop is empty and that desktop has some programs open and that will be it so thank you guys for watching this tutorial and goodbye